Hi everyone, this is Silas Ram, AsianCultureVulture.com. I'm with the fantastic Manisha Koirala, whose book uh, was uh, incredibly personal and about her journey through Bollywood and coming out the other side uh, having had cancer. Manisha, welcome to AsianCultureVulture.com. Hi, thank you. Thank you, Silas. So, this has been a few months now since the book has been published. Um, people, what, what do you think, um, what kind of... Have you been surprised by the reaction? What kind of reaction has surprised you? And what do you think you could have put in the book um, that you kind of missed out or somebody's mentioned to you that you wish you'd written a bit more about or maybe it's going to be in the next book? I don't know. Um, do you come across that kind of sentiment, that feeling? Absolutely, Selish. I think um, uh, there were a couple of comments. And uh, in my opinion, um, Actually, I had I'm a I'm a critic of my book, and, <laughs> right. and I I do wish the ending was a slightly different uh, last couple of chapters. Um, um, but having said that, I had to uh, finish the book, and there was a deadline that I had to match, and and uh, so we kind of hurried and released, and and I do have a few things which I would want to write it in detail someday. Uh, but there were a few comments which people made like. Um, in Nepal, uh, they said, um, one of the person commented on the Twitter, I think, said, oh, you never mentioned that you started your film career in Nepal. But this book is about my cancer journey. It's not about my film journey. And, and, uh, so, and somebody else commented that I have not uh, in, talked in depth about my film career. And, but again, this is not about my film journey, uh, it's about my cancer journey. So I actually take the support of subtext of my uh, journey as an actor just to tell the narrative. Just so my main story about is um, a cancer patient healing. And uh, so I didn't want to go deviate too much from the main topic. And go into because that's a huge part of my life as well. It's 30 years of my life, and there's a lot that I have to say in that. So I didn't want to dilute that aspect and talk too much. Uh, and also, I didn't want to go too much away from the main theme of this book. So, and I appreciate though, I do appreciate uh, people commenting me. I do, uh, I really thank them that they took out time, first of all, to read it and to comment. I mean, thank you for that. Um, but my answer is this, that I actually didn't want to deviate from the main theme. And, and why did you feel compelled to write about your, your cancer and overcoming it? What was the, that must have been the driving force behind it? Uh, first of all, uh, I waited some time. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I was actually healed or in the process of getting stronger ground on complete heal because I didn't want to share a story uh, which will not motivate people, which will not be of help to people. And um, my, my, one of the main reasons that I wanted to tell the story is to give hope and to be of some kind of support to people who go through crisis in life. You know, it could be disease, it could be any financial losses, any, anything which could, you know, shakes you up so, yeah. and you feel there's no uh, hope. And... Uh, I really wanted to say there is a light at the end of the tunnel. There is hope, and there is uh, just there are times where you feel that the world has ended and everything is yeah. over. And uh, but no, hang in there, hang in there. Try put your best foot forward and and have hope. You know. So how does it feel being at the Z J L F here at the British Library in London? I, I love uh, participating at the Z, uh, JLF. Um, I went to Jaipur. It was for me. It was just a fantastic experience to meet people who are so fond of literature, of reading and writings, and and so much of a you know so many writers that I met. That whole I loved. I loved JLF. I think it's incredible platform to bring. Do you read? Do you read a lot? Do you like books? Uh, you know, in my uh, younger days, I was much. I used to be a voracious reader those days, and today I read sparingly. Now, whenever I like something, I I pick up and read. But any particular authors? Um, I've gone on binge reading from certain authors to certain authors at certain times in my life you right. know? 
and uh, uh, like when I was uh, recovering and uh, I really wanted to know about holistic healing and so a lot of people who have written who have gone through illnesses themselves or are expert on holistic healing yeah I, I was uh, indulging a lot on that right and um, what are you doing these days have you got a film lined up or anything mm. yes I just finished an American film um, and I uh, I'm recently in between uh, doing uh, a Hindi film in uh, Mumbai um, Yes, it's back-to-back -back work. Back-to-work. Right. Back-to-work, <laughs> great.